Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, it is day one of our annual fishing tournament and uh, it's a beautiful day out here. Cannot wait to get out on the lake. Yeah, we got here a little bit early. We're gonna try to do some pre-fishing. So let's get out on the water and give it a shot. All right, let's get to it. All right, everybody. So good to be back here in Eleanor. As you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, it's supposed to be around 16 degrees uh, today in the 60s, I guess, Fahrenheit. Uh, you can see the fall colors over here starting to change. We got some loons out on the lake calling already. Uh, it's calm at least right now. And uh, we're just gonna get started here. Try out a first couple of casts and trolls along this cattail bed, see if we can pick up a fish just to get the rust off. Uh, we're about currently two and a half hours from tournament start time, so waiting for our other guests to arrive and when they come, we will uh, make sure to introduce everybody. So until that time, let's get to some fishing. All right, you guys, Kieran just uh, thought he picked up a fish. Yeah, uh, it was trolling. Yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> Got yourself a net. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just picked up the first fish here this year. Hit once and got off and then hit again. Of course, we're not in the tournament. This is some pre-fishing, but we wanted to see if we could pick one up and there's a pike. Nothing big, but it's a fish. All right, there we go. Little guy, oops. I'm gonna do a release here right out of the net. There we go. Gone. Water temperature is cool. We're at 12 degrees. Yep, this is serenity. Unbelievable. We are the only boats on the lake. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Kieran just finally got his first one. Oh, oh sweet! Kieran just picked up a walleye. In the shallows. Again, we're pre-fishing here, so it doesn't count towards the tournament, which is too bad. That would have been good for your multi-species. That is a 17 and a half inch walleye. Okay. Do a release right here. <laughs> Gone. Awesome. Well, I was not expecting you to do that right here. Yeah. But that's alright. All right, everybody, so since we're out here pre-fishing, I thought I would do a little bit of experimentation just because we can, and we're out here having some fun. So I am gonna toss this uh, chatterbait tipped with a craw. Uh, this is a Guggen craw. So, uh, of course, <laughs> these work great for bass, but I'm gonna see if I can pick up a walleye or a pike, so we'll see what happens. First and foremost, so beautiful out here right now. And uh, yeah, just picked up a fish on this Z-Man chatterbait, which is pretty cool. Look at that. On the craw. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. That's perfect. Well, I gotta say that's pretty cool. That is the first fish I've ever caught in my life on a chatterbait. Nice pike. Little guy. Go on. Chatterbait with a craw. You beat her up a little bit, as you would expect with a pike. Um, man, I cannot believe, if you guys have never used a chatterbait, I can't believe how much that vibrates in the water. It is unreal. Um, 
I can just feel it right in my kayak when that thing's running. So very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, we'll call that one a success and uh, pretty happy that I was able to do that. So sweet. Uh, I'm going to move on to a different lure. All right, guys, Kieran just caught a tank of a walleye here. Oh, let me back you up. That is uh, 20 inches or 50 centimeter walleye. Beauty, absolute beauty, man. Nice job. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do next is probably a little bit dangerous. As you can see, I got a slip sinker on here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is try some of these Beard Zero lures. Um, running without a leader is dangerous with pike, but I want to give it a shot. I'm going to, uh, I'm not an expert by any stretch, by the way, but I'm going to try to run this basically Texas rig style. Uh, a little bit further up. And, uh, there we go. Oh, I'm a little off. I need some practice on my Texas rigging, guys. <laughs> but once I get this on here, I'm going to run this thing and see if I can... There we go. Close enough. Just sticking out. There we go. I'm going to see if I can run this and pick up a pike or a walleye with this... Uh, Beard Zero Lures. Is this one that he sent us is called the Coolie Crawler. So I'm going to try this one first and then I'm probably going to try some of these tubes. So let's give it a shot. All right, everybody. I guess they work. Second cast. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Beard Zero, that's for you, buddy. Uh, I cast on the first cast, I had a bite. The second cast I got a fish so uh, we'll call that a very 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 successful lure uh, thanks again to Beard Zero for gone thanks again to Beard Zero for passing those our way that worked perfectly um, rigged up really well awesome stuff all right um, I would love to keep fishing with that thing because I'm in some shallow areas here as you can see in these weeds and it was just going through those weeds really nice so uh, I'd like to keep trying it but I also want to try some of these tube jigs that he made so I might switch over to that and give those a try as well. Okay everybody so as I said I want to try these Beard Zero tube jigs. Um, of course I got to try this one. Um, we have not tossed this one yet. This is the Angling Spiders tube that was specially made for us by Beard Zero. Look at that thing. It is gorgeous. It's in our colors. We got the spider on there. Um, I've Texas rigged it. And uh, basically, I'm just going to toss this one in the same place here. Um, yeah, we actually saved this one specifically for this lake. We wanted to give this one a shot here. So let's uh, hope I can be as successful as with the last one. All right, everybody. So again, second cast with a Beard Zero lure. Look at this. The first ever fish caught on the Angling Spiders tube. Look at that. That is fantastic right there. Uh, clearly they work, buddy. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. That is super exciting. Um, we are waiting a long time to use some of these things just to prove that they would work. And uh, obviously they do, and effectively. That is two different Beard Zero lures, four casts, three, uh, a bite and two fish in four casts. Um, that's a better average than most of the other things that I, I've been tossing. So, uh, fantastic stuff. There we go. We're gonna get this guy in the water and do an underwater release. Hey guys, I think I actually got a fish here on another Beard Zero lure. I do. <laughs> I guess it's Beard Zero Challenge Day. 
on the pre-tournament, a nice size pike too. Beautiful. Uh, this one, as you guys can see, on another one of the two custom tube jigs. Um, that's a nice fish. That is a very nice fish. Beard Zero, thank you once again. Look at that. These things are killing it today. I think I caught those three fish within a matter of 10 minutes, man. Beautiful. So I was basically running it just like that um, and put it out there and I think within 30 seconds I caught one. So since uh, I'm having so much success here this morning um, with the Beard Zeros, I'm gonna try the last soft plastic that he sent us. This one in the shad pattern. I'm gonna rig it the same way. I'm gonna rig it sideways, Texas rigged. And uh, let's see if we can get one on the last tube jig. That would be fantastic. Well, Beard Zero, they all work. But as I said, the risk of fishing for pike without a leader. Um, the last tube jig, unfortunately, I had a massive strike on that shad. Uh, I don't know how big it was, but I suspect it was a pretty good size and uh, it destroyed it and uh, bit my line, which is what pike do. So I guess this, I effectively caught a fish on every one of the ones you sent us, um, but I didn't get to land that last one. So, uh, but it was a great, uh, great you know, morning here of trying out those lures. They were very successful. Really appreciate you sending those once again. And uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to see this and see that they work very effectively. And for any of you that wondered if those, those uh, lures can catch fish, now you know. So, all right. Well, we have been having a fantastic morning of pre-fishing here, but I just saw a boat pull up to the dock over there, and I think that is our guests for the tournament. So we are gonna make our way over there and see if that's them. When Kieran and I first got here, there was a local guy that said, the bite was really tough right now. Uh, they'd been out and they weren't having much luck, so. I don't know, maybe it's the angling spider's luck, but uh, we seem to be doing all right, so we'll take it. All right, we're gonna head in, and uh, that'll be the end of the pre-fishing. There's Kieran, he just had a bite. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll even have a few more before we get back to the dock, so. All right. All right, everybody, so we are back at the dock. Our guests have arrived, so we are gonna meet with them and get day one of the tournament underway, but that's gonna close it out for the pre-fishing video. Uh, pretty good morning, actually, before these guys got here. We caught some pretty nice fish. Yeah. Uh, you got a nice walleye. Uh, we caught quite a few pike. Hopefully that continues <laughs> in the tournament because uh, man, uh, hopefully we didn't waste all of our luck yeah. in the morning. All right, so we're going to go meet these guys, and you guys can stay tuned to the next episode for day one of the tournament. All right. Remember, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. Dog in the crotch. Dog in the crotch. All right. There's an outro. All right. <laughs>